Sunday morning in the Lost Creek Wilderness. And my plan is to do either a 30 mile or a 45-ish mile loop here, one overnight. Just kind of depending on how much I'm gonna to need to use those snowshoes. Right now it's probably about 20 degrees, about 8.30 in the morning. So brisk, but sunny and no wind. So it's actually really, really quite pleasant. So um, got some new gear, got this new Zimmer pack and uh, zero degree sleeping bag. I am excited to try out and finally get out into the backcountry for just one night, but um, should be a lot of solitude. Made it up to uh, Hankins Pass here, and there's definitely a lot of snow still up here, and I think a lot of it has got to be from the storm earlier this week is this really pretty powdery and fresh but uh managed to get up here without the snowshoes but i'm gonna put them on for the descent and we're going back down under 8,000 feet we're at like 10 right now so uh hoping the snow will get a little bit better and then almost certainly going to do my shorter 30 mile variation than the 45 mile with all this snow but uh it's beautiful out here the sun is out and uh even though the air temperature is probably in the 30s, nice strong April sun, feels really nice. It's just a mess of blowdowns right here, but fortunately I can see some cuts from some old ones, so I know I'm on the trail. It's been kind of hard to follow. My snowshoe bindings have been, they keep getting caught under there. It's super annoying. It's uh, almost two o'clock here. Um, I'm climbing up the uh, Goose Creek Trail and it's on this nice western facing slope. And maybe here or see just all the snow and little droplets falling from melt off the trees from the recent storm. But this trail has been a lot better, uh, just getting a lot more sun. And where there is snow, it's only like an inch or two deep. And it's actually quite nice hiking. Uh, this morning was pretty rough. I had had my snowshoes on for maybe two, three miles in there and with snowshoes so slow going. So I'm sure I'm going to find some more terrain like that. So I'm hoping to get another maybe seven or eight today and then set up camp. So I just got water down at that stream there and there's just nothing like water from a stream with snow melt. Ice cold, just crystal clear, no filter, life is good. This is the trail. Fortunately, the side hills are, uh, aren't sketchy really at all because the snow is so soft and I can easily just kind of kick steps in. But knew I would find more kind of difficult stuff this afternoon. So I found it. Looks like I'm back on the Hayduke Trail right here. How cool is that?
so I decided to make camp here. Got about maybe 19 miles today. I have to double check, but um, did not expect it to be snowing today at all. And obviously it is snowing. So hopefully it'll just be some passing flurries. And uh, as long as I'm not gonna get dumped on, it's really, really pretty. And it's not too terribly cold. So, um, I mean, really, really beautiful out here in the Lost Creek Wilderness. So, gonna make some dinner and uh, climb in my uh, brand new uh, zero degree, zero degree bag here. of the high point just under 11,000 feet and I got the snowshoes on and I've had them on for maybe the last mile and a half or so and I was really glad I had them because there was definitely a lot of pretty deep deep powder that I had to, to, to plow through and it's slow going and really exhausting work so I was just kind of stopping here in the sun and hopefully the other side of this pass will be uh, get a lot more sun and I'm thinking um, I might need snow shoots for the first part and then it should open up a little bit and I should be able to cruise and I should only have like seven miles back to the car. So um, sun's out and just gonna enjoy it. Well, I was hoping for there'd be some tracks to follow after the last trail junction. I guess they got my wish in a way. I wonder if it's a bobcat or a coyote or a mountain lion. I don't know, let me know if you know. <laughs> 